I'm here with Charlotte Christian. How are you this morning? I'm well. Yeah, Thank you. I, I, we were talking in the break, and you didn't go to bed until 11 o'clock? That's what time I went to bed, <sighs> yes. My goodness. And she's here and functioning and doing I was well. thinking that y'all were getting up at, I don't know how you get up at 3 o'clock or 2.30 or whatever well, time you get up. We don't stay up till 11 o'clock. <laughs> good reading. <laughs> that is, but I know attorneys put in some late hours. You guys have so much to work on. And I, I was going to ask you, with so many different things that you have to work on, it's... I mean, it's a lot of work for you to get in the mode and get in, you know, different time sets since you handle so many different areas. So we actually just stay quick. in the mode. You, you know, just gotta stay I mean, that way. It's pretty much it's you know, the practice of law is pretty much your life. That's what you do. Uh -huh. Most of the time. Except for Alabama football games, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you do have some time where I you do. can deviate I, a little bit. I that time to be down. Yeah. Well, we've got, we've got a couple questions here. that, and, and keep in mind, too, if you have any questions for um, John Taunton or Charlotte Christian when they're up here on Fridays, feel free to email us. We get sure. questions all the time. In fact, I have two to go over with you. One viewer wants to know, is there a certain age that a child can decide which parent they want to live with if their uh, parents are divorced? You know... <clears throat> That question is interesting because people always come in, people mm -hmm. come in, they always think that um, if their child's 12 or if their child's 15, they think there's some magic number, and there's really not. Um, a child's preference, a judge is going to listen to, you and they're going to weigh it, mm -hmm. um, but they're going to weigh it with the other facts. There's not just a magic number that you can say, okay, my child's 12, my child says I want, they want to live with me, so let's go fill out the paperwork and get them living with me. Good um, point. It's not, it's not magic like that. It's the entirety of the circumstances for sure. So at any age, the child can actually speak to the judge. When that happens, Charlotte, and I imagine probably cases are all, always different, is the child on a witness stand where both parents can sit there and hear questions, or does the judge talk to them privately? You know, in every county it's different. Um, here in Limestone County, our judges are really, really good with children, and, and most judges that I have dealt with are really mm -hmm. good with children, but here, uh, Judge Baker, Judge Woodruff will generally take the uh, attorneys and the child into their office, and, nice, um, you know, they just talk to the child one-on-one, -on -one, try to make the child be comfortable. You don't, you don't want to put a kid in a situation where they've got mom sitting there and dad sitting there, and they've got to please one or the other. And our judges are very good about making sure that the children are protected, and then also there's a protection in that the attorneys can't go back and tell their client what the child said. Oh, very nice. So, it's less I mean, intimidating back there, right. too, in the judge's chambers. Absolutely. And Less stressful too. If you've ever been to court, putting a child on the witness stand like that, yes. it's, it's you tough. know you don't you don't cross examine a child or um, you know put a child under pressure like you would an adult on the stand for sure. Great. And judges are good too because if a if an attorney is being a little bit too belligerent, they will definitely tell that attorney and cool it. Yeah. Well, they <laughs> so that's the child, nice they too. Will, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, here's our second question from a viewer. Viewer alimony. Can alimony be lowered after a change of circumstances? Say I'm having to pay my ex-spouse uh, all the or three thousand dollars a month, and I can't afford that anymore. What do you do? Well, the standard is a material change in circumstances. It's not just a certain time. It's like you know, a lot of people think, well, after two years, I can mm -hmm. modify it. But the standard is. A, if a material change of circumstances occurs, then you bring that to the attention of the judge. If the judge agrees that it's not by your own doing, uh, if you work for uh, a company that's gone out of business, obviously, uh, if you lose your job and then you get on unemployment and your income is cut down mm -hmm. um, a whole lot lower, then the judge is going to look at that and probably modify your alimony until such time as you can get back. Now, you can't become voluntarily unemployed because you know, you've got a duty mm -hmm. to take care of that spouse that the judge has awarded that. Um, You're capable you know, of working. Right, you have absolutely. to work. You have to work. You can't just lower your income on purpose. And I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of times you hear um, people say, well, he was he did have this good job. Now he just took a lower job because he didn't want to have to pay or she didn't want to have to pay. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. It's based on what your earning potential is, correct? People say that to me a lot. They'll say, um, well, you know, I'm just not going to work. Mm -hmm. Or... Um, that they think their husband changed jobs just so they wouldn't have to pay them, and you know that's a that's a that's a spite thing probably right. most of the time. But you can't do that. I mean, if you're capable, if you have proven in the past that you're capable of working for a certain wage and that wage is available, mm -hmm. and you could work and you're able to, you're healthy and you're able to, then you're you're going to have to work. Or now that goes both ways. Now I would imagine that goes both ways too. If you are a mom and you have a, your child is living with you, and at one point or many po years you did work and earn, but you just want to stay home. Now you're making a lot less and claim you only make 
you know, a whole lot less, you still have to step up to the plate too, right? Well, it's a totality of the circumstances. I mean, you get a look and see, did, did the mom stay home with the children when they were married? Um, you know, gotcha. is the father more capable of taking care of the children and allowing the mother to stay home okay. um, with the children? So it's, it pretty much looks back at what you have done historically. Great. Well, thank you very much, Charlotte. Now, if you have any questions, give them a call. Set up a consultation. 233-7772 is that number. I assure you, you will get all of your questions answered. And it's so important, too, if you're contemplating a divorce, give Charlotte Christian a call. She will definitely be able to help you. And if you happen to, you know, the holidays are here. Don't drink and drive. They're always saying that. But should you get yourself in the a situation like that, give John Totten a call and do it immediately. And also, if you're ever in a car accident or any kind of accident, give them a call right away because valuable evidence can be lost if you wait or just even just a couple days. So, Charlotte, thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you this morning, too. You too. Roll Tide this weekend. I'm sure we'll be talking more football here. We're going to take it next weekend. Here. Next, oh, we're off this weekend. That's right. What will we do? What will we do? <laughs> there is another game on. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this.